For 46 years, Voyager 1 has been silently drifting into the abyss a lonely traveler on a one-way path. Beyond the warmth of our sun and the reach of any planet, deeper into the void than any human-made object has ever dared to go, departed. Earth, in an era when disco music ruled the airwaves and rotary phones were still commonplace, and yet against all odds it continues to function, still breathing, still speaking, still watching. But something has changed. Its relic of the 20th century has just sent back a transmission that no one, not even the most hopeful astrophysicists ever, anticipated. It wasn't a glitch. It wasn't noise. It was a discovery. A moment so profound that NASA was forced to reevaluate its own models. A signal so peculiar that top engineers are now questioning whether Voyager is observing something or being observed. Tonight, we explore the terrifyingly beautiful mystery that has just emerged from the edge of interstellar space. Because what Voyager 1 has uncovered is not only unimaginable light may rewrite everything. We think we know about what lies beyond the stars. It's nearly impossible to believe that a spacecraft built with computing power far inferior. To today's cheapest, smartphones has outlasted generations of scientists, engineers, presidents, and entire space programs. Launched in 1977, Voyager 1 was intended to survive just five years just long enough to complete a tour of the gas giants. Yet decade after decade, it defied every expectation. Its resilience astonished experts not just in its longevity, but in its unwavering consistency. Despite enduring solar storms, cosmic radiation, freezing temperatures, and mechanical decay, the probe has remained functional, ticking like an old clock caught in a vacuum of time. While its twin, Voyager 2, took a slightly different route. Voyager 1 ventured upward out of the plane of the solar system into the unknown, carrying with it the famous golden record, a hopeful greeting from humanity bolted to its side. Voyager 1 didn't just travel farther than any object before E.T. became a spectral ambassador, silently crossing into the interstellar medium. And even through the silence, it never stopped talking. After nearly five decades, it has. Whispered something so startling that scientists are holding their breath. The edge of the solar. System isn't marked by a place. But by a threshold and invisible curtain across space where the sun's influence begins to wane in the domain. Of interstellar space takes hold. Voyager 1 crossed this line in 2012. Officially becoming the first man-made object to leave the bubble of the solar wind and enter true interstellar territory. But what lay beyond didn't behave as expected, the magnetic field on the far side. Wasn't radically different. Plasma density increased, yet the orientation remained strangely stable. Then came the low-frequency plasma waves. Energy pulses Voyager began detecting like echoes ricocheting off unseen surfaces. Intrigued but not alarmed, scientists logged the data. That is, until now. Voyager's latest transmission contained more than just anomalies, it featured a structured pattern. A sequence of pulses repeated at irregular yet deliberate intervals. This was not random, it was not noise, it was something else entirely. While some call it a natural phenomenon, others more cautiously are wondering if this isn't a message. From Voyager, but a message through it. Among Voyager's most surprising components is its plasma wave instrument. This delicate system measures the density of surrounding space by listening to vibrations in charged particles. It was never intended to last this long, especially not in the cold, dark emptiness of deep space, where temperatures hover near absolute zero. Yet not only is it still functional, it has just sent back data that defies all known explanations. Against all engineering forecasts, the instrument recorded a frequency shift in a region where no shift should occur. A spectral echo, as though something passed close by, bending space ever so slightly. Subtle enough to evade Earth-based telescopes, but not Voyager. Engineers investigated every possibility. System malfunctions, calibration errors, Earth-based interference, nothing. Fit, the signal was clean, and it came from outside. Speculation arose. Gravitational lensing. Dark matter interactions. Perhaps. But one hypothesis, gaining quiet traction among fringe physicists, is far more unsettling that the signal wasn't caused by what Voyager encountered. 
but by what encountered Voyager. When the transmission was converted into a visual spectrogram, researchers expected the usual fare, noise, spikes, static, and decay. What they found instead sent chills through the room. A wave structure, repeating every 19.3 seconds, formed a waveform with intentional curvature, like a hand-drawn sine wave layered with complex harmonics. It wasn't just the symmetry that stunned analysts, but the distortion embedded within the waves, though something had interfered mid-transmission, not static, an insertion. It resembled a mathematical spiral within the waveform of structure found across nature, from galaxies to hurricanes to seashells. The Fibonacci sequence, the universal language of geometry. Oh. But this wasn't a naturally occurring phenomenon, it was embedded. If that's true, Voyager might not just be recording the unknown, it could be relaying a message one left for us to discover. The question is, left by what? One of the first things that puzzled NASA wasn't the message itself, but the timing. Normally, Voyager's signal takes over 22 hours to reach Earth at the speed of light. But this time, something was different. There was a delay, several minutes long. Initially dismissed as a technical glitch, a relay hiccup, or solar interference, the truth proved far more troubling. Upon further analysis, the signal structure showed signs of interference that could not be traced back to either. Voyager or Earth. It was as though something between the two had intercepted or altered the signal before it arrived. Intis. Described it like hearing your own echo in a silent room in echo. That shouldn't exist unless something else was present. Then came an even more disturbing discovery. Analysts digging into the frequency noticed an irregular distortion in the transmission's lower harmonics. This wasn't random noise. It had a unique signature faint, yet consistent. Imagine listening to a symphony and hearing a second melody hidden beneath the main performance. It's perfectly synchronized, yet composed in a different key. What they heard? Engineers dubbed it the phantom frequency. While the name sounds poetic, the implications are deeply unsettling. If the phantom tone didn't come from Voyager, and it didn't come from Earth, then it originated somewhere else, somewhere in the space between. Some proposed it was a natural echo from an unknown plasma interaction. Others suggested it could. Be artificial a code within the chaos. As if something was piggybacking on Voyager's signal. Waiting. Watching speaking through it. Beyond the heliopause, Voyager entered a region long believed to be empty, a cold vacuum with sparse particles. Drifting aimlessly, but recent data paints a very different picture. This realm isn't empty at all. It's dense with mystery, magnetic filaments, rogue particles, and inexplicable currents that shift direction unpredictably. Now Voyager has detected something else a recurring anomaly in its plasma readings, a consistent field behaving like a barrier. NASA scientists call it the interstellar wall, but its uniformity is what's truly baffling. Space isn't supposed to form walls, and yet this one doesn't shift. It remains in place, even as Voyager drifts. Over time, the anomaly appears to curve slightly, suggesting it may not be a wall at all, but the outer surface of something larger, a bubble, a boundary, shell enclosing something beyond comprehension. Voyager may be skimming along the outer, Limits of a structure we never knew existed. Attached to Voyager 1 is the Golden Recorda Photograph. A collection of images and sounds from Earth encoded with greetings, music, and instructions. A gift to the cosmos. A message in a bottle. But what if that message has already been received? Once the realm of science fiction, this possibility is now being reconsidered. As Voyager continues to send increasingly strange data delays, distortions, Echoes phantom signals some are beginning to ask, what if something found that record and decided to answer? Engineers using machine learning tools have performed deep analysis on the signal's noise, detecting patterns that aren't just rhythmic, but evolving as if whatever is interacting with the probe is learning. From plasma waves to magnetic, shifts light echoes to signal distortions. Everything Voyager reports now feels like more than data. It feels like contact. If that's true, then Voyager's mission is no longer just one of exploration. It may be humanity's first handshake with something beyond our world. And now we're left with more questions than answers. A spacecraft launched nearly 50 years ago, built with outdated 1970s. 
technology and powered by decaying plutonium has just sent back a signal that challenges our understanding of the universe, a delay that defies explanation, a frequency bearing, a hidden signature, structure in space that behaves more like a boundary than a breeze, and perhaps a repliant from us, but to us. Could it all be a coincidence? A tangle of natural phenomena cloaked in mystery? Or is it something more? Something that's been waiting on the other side of the dark?